The AEW World Championship hangs in the balance of our opening contest tonight on Dynamite. Daniel Garcia headed into this match with some momentum. MJF suffering a loss one week ago at the hands of Jay White and Bull Club Gold. Can Daniel Garcia punch his ticket to full gear here tonight? Challenger getting fired up right there. Yeah, I gotta stay with him. That arm was worked on a lot now. A German suplex with a release, and the champion lands high and hard. They are taking a look at two phenomenal athletes, both under the age of 30, battling for the world title. Garcia going to dance with one arm. A gutsy performance, Shivani. Yeah, not kidding. Double knees in the corner. Garcia rolls through, maintains control of MJF's head. Brainbuster floats over. Hook of the leg and MJF able to kick out. Almost got it real close right there. Crown a new champion. It's a good point you mentioned, Shivani, the first time in world title match history in AEW. Two guys under 30 years old. I think that's really cool. I mean, these are two men that represent the future of our sport as Daniel Garcia looking for the pile driver there. He used it effectively. Wait, cover here. Garcia used that pile driver effectively on Trent Loretta this past Friday night. Oh, oh, oh. Rampage, and now the backslide, though. Garcia may not need the pile driver. Keep it up, Daniel. Keep it up. Here we go. Oh, tried to pile driver, couldn't get him open. Yeah, if he got that pile driver, we might crown a new champ yeah, here. I agree. Really working on that arm throughout this match. MJF's done a good job. Oh, oh, slap, oh, oh, slap there. Paintbrush MJF. Spun him around that paintbrush did Excalibur and hit him so hard. And Garcia, well timed Saito suplex MJF up in the corner. Garcia charging in the double knees. MJF avoids contact and now double stomp on the elbow. Arm that has been worked on heavily, man. That will rip it apart. The champ is looking good here. Double underhook by MJF into the shoulder breaker. Thrust kick combo, Garcia's dazed. And now MJF the hammer lock. Watch the head here, this is gonna be dangerous. And oh, DT by MJF, lateral press. Garcia able to kick out. Well, Garcia deserves a lot of credit, Shivani kicking out of that, yeah. that was nasty. I don't know how he did, I mean, we're gonna take a look at it again, Taz. Uh, it, here it is, hammer lock DDT. And I thought he was done. I did too. And Garcia, while he was trapped there, you can see he was fighting and punching the kidney area, ribs. But it wasn't enough. Again, back to the arm, Excalibur. Yeah, MJF looked like he was trying to lock in assault to the earth, the Fujiwara armbar. But Garcia, for for all of his uh, sports entertainment prowess, Garcia, a true student of the game, as MJF was looking for the heat seeker. Garcia. Oh, boy. Oh, oh wow. Nice kick. Holy As smokes. Garcia staggered. And now MJF. Panama Sunrise. No. And MJF. Oh, wow, that was a brutal kick to the knee. And Garcia kicks the other knee out from under the champ. I like a mistake. I like it. Chopping him down. Both legs of the champ get taken out by Garcia. I like that. Garcia trying to hoist up MJF, but MJF just collapses. His arm, though, the arm of Garcia because of the steady diet of offense by MJF on the arm, setting him up for that salt of the earth finish, but Garcia's fighting hard. I, I think, guys, we have seen MJF up his game. He's wrestled more. He has come up with different moves, and it's all, I think, really because of his friendship with, with Adam Cole. Oh, wait a second. Garcia with one arm, the pile driver. MJF in trouble. Garcia. A hair's breadth away from becoming AEW World Champion now. The legs crossed, he steps through the Dragon Tamer. Locked in. Smart grabbing that neoprene knee pad now, grabbing the instep of the boot. Get more control on the leather of the boot where you can control the leg. And he's kind of dancing while he's got the and legs notice, locked up. Taz Garcia's position. Oh wait, MJF. Nice counter. Transitioning now, salt of the earth locked in. It's a great counter by the champ. Garcia reaching back, grabbing the hair of MJF, but MJF, there we go. back Garcia taps out. Now we're at this match. And still, all the leaders of the world champion is JF. Well, the champ was so quick to take this title match, and that shows you how much he wants to avoid Samoa Joe. He took it, and he won it. MJF, he's our champion, but guys, he's getting better and better. That's hard to say for a champion. Well, he's, he's shown us a lot tonight. I don't know how much better you can get. I mean, if you're the champ, to your point, but with the resilience and toughness of Garcia, couldn't use that left arm, so he had to do a pile driver one arm. But I'll tell you what, 
Excalibur, what a, what a, a showing in an outing by Daniel Garcia. I sit my cap to these events. Yeah, a great effort by Daniel Garcia here tonight, challenging for the AEW World Championship. But MJF has secured his spot at full gear. We know that MJF will be going into Los Angeles as AEW World Champion. We'll have to keep our eye on our main event. Will it be Jay White or will it be Mark Briscoe challenging for the AEW World Championship at the fabulous Kia Forum in Los Angeles? Well, sign of respect. Right? Oh, oh, he was going to great. He was re reaching for the hand. Cool hand, Dan. And Daddy, Daddy Magic, Magic. saying no, no. Daddy says no. Sorry, Tom. But yeah, that's all right. I, 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 I love it. Uh, but uh, listen. MJF's telling him this guy's not, don't listen to these guys. MJF's right, guys. He is right. Garcia gave him a hell of a bout, like you said, Taz. There you go. Well, he's listened to Daddy Magic and Cool Hand Ange. They've been like father figures, big brothers, big uncles, whatever you want to call it to him, for a long time. But there's no shame in tapping. Garcia tapped out. MGF got the victory, retained his title, but there's no shame in tapping when a guy has a good armbar on you like that.